Hey guys, I am making some garlic butter chicken. I am starting by cutting up some potatoes to add to the bottom of my crock pot. And I'm just cutting up some Idaho potatoes. You can use uh, any kind of little red potatoes or anything like that, whatever. I just had these on hand. So this is pretty much a pantry. This actually is a pantry meal for me because everything that I am putting in this recipe, I already had on hand. So I didn't have to make, this didn't come out of my grocery haul. This was, these were items that I already have. So I'm just gonna chop these potatoes up and get them into the bottom of my crock pot. Alright guys, so now I'm just going to season the potatoes with some pepper and some salt and parsley. Just gonna mix it around just to make sure they all get kind of covered. And now I'm just gonna take my chicken breasts and lay them over top of the potatoes. They're still a little frozen, but that's okay. As you guys know, I gotta wash my hands. I usually don't even touch the meat. I'll usually use gloves, but I'm just gonna wash my hands up real quick. All right, so now I am going to add a little bit of seasoning to the chicken breast as well. I'm gonna put some thyme on it. And these seasonings are all a matter of pre preference. It's just what I wanted to add. I'm gonna add some marjoram. Some poultry seasoning. Obey. Some salt. And some pepper. Like I said guys, this is a matter of preference. I just want my chicken flavorful. Um, so I, I wanted a little bit more than just the butter and garlic. I'm gonna add a little parsley flakes on top. So you definitely can do this without adding all these other seasonings. And now we're gonna add some minced garlic and some butter. And I'm gonna roughly put about maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon, maybe a little more. And 
I'm going to add about a stick of butter. I'm just going to cut it into small pieces so I can spread it around. So I use quite the whole stick, but just about. And now I'm just going to cover it and let it cook for six hours on a, like a medium low heat. I'll be back, guys. All right, guys. So it's been about six and a half hours and it smells so good. So this is the finished product. Doesn't that look good, guys? I'm going to put it on a plate so you can see it. There you go, guys. Doesn't that look good? This recipe was a hit with my family. I tasted a little piece of the chicken and the potato, and it turned out really good. I just made some broccoli to go with it, and that's what we're having for dinner. So I hope you like this video, guys, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.